Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to be playing FTO with the Captain's Edition mod installed. It also has the extended loot and a few other basic things. So, um, my goal is to eventually win with every single ship, with all the types, currently through, I want to say, about 100 hours or so. I've only actually beat the game a few times with the Crystal Cruiser, and as you can see I've beat it once with this guy. Now on my laptop, it's about the same. I think I beat it with the Zoltan Cruiser once, but pretty much the same numbers. Generally, I find the Crystal Cruiser Type B is one of the best ships because you get a four-man warper, or rather, crew teleporter, and you also get cloaking and a lot of great things. Of course, you come with the disadvantage that you get, um, well, in this case, you actually do get a weak weapon. It's a light crystal, which is just basically an anti- personnel weapon. It's not actually that useful because if you end up hitting your own crew they get hurt. But in default mode you actually don't get anything so if you come up across it, say a um, automated ship or Zoltan ship you actually can't hurt them. Okay so since my goal is just to work through all the ships I will probably just random one like or something like that. Personally, my least favorite ship is the Rock Cruiser, just because of how fast you can drain missiles. Oh yeah. And for example, what I meant by the extended loot mod is that it gives you random bonuses. For example, if you look, it says incendiary, it also makes the weapon redder. And then it says fire chance plus two. And then certain ones get different bonuses. For example, this one is upgraded and 0.85 cooldown, or times 0.85, so that just makes it fire faster and there's various upgrades. Then you can also see that with this mod there are new augmentations. The Kestrel starts with a fuel recycler, usually it starts with nothing. This one starts with a cargo teleporter, which allows you to sell materials faster, which you can buy. And then this one, most of the sea ships, I'm not sure in regular mode, but at least in this, a lot, no, just in this actually, allow you to um, get uh, requisition license or you start with it rather and basically just lets you steal so as I said um, I'll probably just pick one of my favorite chips there's and they modified some of the weapons which are pretty nice so today I'll just start with the, um, the Osprey or however you want to pronounce it so here we go so the data you carry is vital to your yeah this isn't actually that important so then as you can see there's already some basic changes you get the option to socialize with your crew you also can consider upgrades to your equipment so because this is a federation ship you get two upgrades right off the bat for the ship you can get adaptive gel suits which make you take um, basically crystal crewman levels of damage from no oxygen so basically like one damage a second instead of say five or whatever it is and then fire suppression is fairly self-explanatory it just makes fire go out then, so if you don't have the money for that, you can talk to your crewman. Then, yeah. So currently I have four crewmen and I got four options. So I will talk with the Mantis crewman. And turned out the Mantis was pregnant, as it says. Uh, Captain, I have something. I have to explain something. It's the first time your Mantis approaches you with something that's friendly. And yep, basically it says it's pregnant. So then just yep. And then you get daughter. I believe it starts with no stats. Yeah. And then. You get a free crewman. And for anyone who hasn't played the Advanced Edition or whatever it's called, you can now post crewmen at doors and sensors to allow you to gain an extra level. So as you can see, my sensors are now level 2, even though I invested no money. If I put it at doors, it would upgrade to the Blast Door, I believe. Yeah, and that is the Grey Door, or Silver, whatever you want to say, and that makes it so they have to hit the door. Personally, I like having level 2 sensors, so that's what I'm going to do. And I will start with the distress beacon. So you discover that the distress signal originates from the center of a nearby system. A civilization vessel passed too close to the local star. Their engines and shields were damaged by a solar flare, and now they are in danger of drifting into the star. So I got 14 scrap and took some major damage. Pretty bad start, so I'm just going to go ahead and restart it, because I gained nothing really. 
So I'm, as I said, already through that stuff, and this time I'll talk to the mantis again. So nothing happened that time, kind of unlucky, but no big deal. So this time we started right next to a store, and here's what I meant about the things you could trade. So in certain sectors you can buy different things, and different things are worth different amounts of money depending on where you are. Generally I like to avoid this because they take up an augment slot, and augments are generally more valuable, or just better, they're, it's a better idea to fill them with better augments like these. So I don't know which one are um, Captain's Edition exclusive, but I am fairly certain the anti-ship battery is, which is a pretty cool one. So backup battery, also an advanced edition. And I don't know if in regular mode you get these or not, but at least in Captain's Edition, when you buy a drone control, it comes with a random free um, drone. So, yep, second hand is usually pretty good. It's cheaper, but um, there's no downside, as it says, and whatnot. So I'm just gonna buy some fuel and move on. So we went into an asteroid field, sometimes you have to worry about that, but it's no big deal. If you're on Windows, you can press V, I believe you can on Mac as well, and that will turn on your auto fire. Or you can hold control, I believe, and do manual auto fire and leave it off, as I will show right now. So if you look, it's red, but if I hold control, it is yellow, but if I were to say have a second weapon, I could still do manual with it. Of course, it's not that valuable with only one weapon. So, generally when you're fighting a sh um, ship in an asteroid field, it's always valuable to take out the shields first, since asteroids can hit them and constantly do damage. As you can see, they're already doing damage, and I'm not hitting them. So, you probably have noticed that this, um, this logo is charging up, for anyone who hasn't played before. That is the artillery beam, yeah, and that takes 40 seconds and it can be sped up with upgrading it and it shoots a beam that pierces all shields and does one damage to each room, each room it hits. So generally every ship you can fight is worthwhile until you reach the later game because you want as much money as you can and especially in the early game it's very easy to get. So, now that the weapons have been taken out, there is no threat to us whatsoever, so that leaves us a couple of options. We can choose to take out the shields, we can take out their evasion by targeting here, or we can try to force them to take out oxygen. Personally, I'm going to go for shields, since I generally get fairly unlucky and miss a lot, so it's always valuable. And as you can see, pretty easy victory, taking out the shields paid off to an extent. And we got a quest and a bit of money. So here we have three options. In this mod, if you choose them, the ones that seem like you're going to steal, generally it turns out poorly unless you're a specific ship. I believe the Mantis, and that might be it. Or if you are the or if you have a requisition license. So we're gonna dock in and flood the ship with oxygen. As you can see, it was a success, and we got some scrap. So we're gonna try to navigate our way to the quest beacon because we could get some potentially valuable stuff there. Generally, I would like to skip this mission because you can risk losing a crewman, and this early in the game is really not worth it. One thing you do have to keep in mind though, whenever you go through one of those, always check for your power levels. Sometimes your oxygen might go out, which will in turn screw you over. So currently I have two NGs and um, a Mantis. So I'm going to take the Mantis off since Mantises can be used for fighting, so I prefer to use NGs which are terrible at fighting and just have them be um, the people who man the station. So I'm going to have the Mantis... Um, covered doors for now because sensors are useful but since we don't have boarding it doesn't matter if we can see the inside of their ship or not as you can see they're charging their FTO drive so we have a few options here we can either try to take out their weapons but it's a single burst so it's not worthwhile we could take out hacking but it's also not that valuable so I'm gonna go for engines because with engines out it will take longer to repair and lower their evasion as you can see, they targeted our uh, sensor system, and whenever this is like shooting out electricity, it will make our sensors turn off. 
And depending on which system it hits, it can do different effects. If it hits healing and activates, it will actually drain your HP. If it hits shield, it will drain your shields until it reaches zero or as far as it can get. Um, if you if it targets, I don't remember what it does if it targets artillery beam, but presumably it lowers it. Oxygen removes oxygen. This one just takes away evasion. Engines just lowers your evasion as well and your FTL drive from charging. Yeah, so fairly basic stuff. So currently we're in sector two, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade the shields and get enough power. To, so if I do end up running into a store, I will be at a, oh yeah, as you can see the zones also have new names, Earthquake 3, don't actually know what that is, probably rock though since it has to do with ground, and this is a fairly um, red zone all around, so my choices look a little better if I go up, so I'm going to go to Earthquake 3, as you can see, just uh, standard options, steal these two, we can buy them if we have the money, which I do not since I just bought stuff. So I'm going to talk with the NG, they had nothing valuable, so we'll continue. One thing you do have to keep in mind though, when, when you're playing FTL, is always keep an eye on your fuel. If you get low, you'll end up screwing yourself over and potentially making a good run go terrible. And here's what I was referring to, Planetary Defense System, or I believe ASB for Artillery Support, or something like that. They can both just shoot at your ship, or at the enemy ship, or your ship, depending on which team. In this case, they're firing at my ship, so you might be thinking I should just put more into engines, which isn't a bad idea, which is what I'll probably end up doing. But we won't be able to escape either way, most likely, since it's charging up pretty slowly. So since their weapons are down, our next best target is going to be shields, and just hope we can destroy the ship, because if you destroy the ship, your FTL drive will go to full. So I'm going to stay, even if this charges first, and see if I can get a good volley. If I can get four shots without having them resist damage, the ship will be destroyed. And as you can see, a lot got resisted, but fortunately the artillery beam happened to help us. So we're going to go to this distress beacon. So, the distress beacon is coming from a small station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire, and their repair crew can't approach them without the being fired on. They're looking for someone to fix or disable it. So, if you have an NG, you can repair the crew, or you can repair the targeting system, as you can see. And I believe that will always give you the largest reward for this one. Which is So, if you have an NG, that is universally a good quest for you. And usually it's a good idea to have power in medbay, but sometimes it can be more valuable to just put it somewhere else. So the next two upgrades I usually like to go for after I have level 2 shields is to either decide between two things. Uh, sensors, doors, or putting more in weapons, or just saving it for stores. Now that isn't two things, which <laughs> I did mess that up. Uh, yeah. Usually, oh, we actually got really unlucky here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there, transfer the NG to go help just try to get weapons up, because this will take a long time to refill, and NGs repair at two times speed, if you didn't know. So I'm getting fairly unlucky, since they keep taking out my weapons. I believe that's an AI choice, but it, that one was hit by an asteroid, so I don't know. As you can see, the second uh, level of shields are actually preventing us from basically getting killed, but unfortunately they're pelting us with rockets, and we're at about 50% HP. If we can reach a store soon, things should turn up, but this might be another failed round. So we went into another asteroid beacon, which is fairly unfortunate, and as you can see, two Lockmen have boarded us. We now have a couple of options. We can either vent out the air and try to suffocate them, or we can try to fight them. Currently we do have a decent crew for fighting, but things are looking pretty terribly for us, so I believe personally the best option is going to be to fight them in the med bay, because of course you get healing and it is fairly advantageous. So I'm going to move one of the NGs out, and then move into Mantis since it's a lot better at fighting, 
and I'll move the NG who is covering engines back the engines. So fortunately there is actually no threat to us whatsoever right now, so we can safely take out their ship, which is a nice pleasant turn of events. So the NG's got the artillery beam back up, but it's not a big deal because we're at no threat. We're going to get the sensors back up with our time and put the NG's back where they belong. So, could be worse. We did take a little bit of damage, but as I said earlier, if we can get a store, which we did, there we're actually positive again. So, we will just uh, fix our damage, and now we'll take a look at the weapons. So we got an assault laser, one power cost, but faster cooldown. Fairly valuable on charge weapons, since, as you know, the goal is to charge them up faster. And it looks like we got a few basic crewmen. Personally, I don't value humans at all, so I think they're a waste of money. We could get an incendiary heavy ion for two power, and that would probably be fairly valuable, but the charge time is fairly long, so I think I'm going to pass on it. Going to get a bit more fuels, and we're going to move, and so there's no store. I'm going to wait till I get to the exit beacon, and then I'm going to put another point into doors, and one point after that into sensors. Now, I don't know if this one does ion damage, but if I recall, that actually stuns your crewmen. So my goal is going to be to take out the weapons, and then just target the shields, which is a fairly standard strategy. I you can see going up fairly unlucky there, but since we took out the weapons, they can't do any damage anyway. So if that does happen to you, you have two options. You can either take out the piloting station or maybe the bridge, whatever you want to call it. So we have two options here. We can either accept their offer or we can not accept their offer. Personally, I think it's a pretty good offer, so I'm going to accept it get three fuel. Now here's a unique option to Captain's Edition. You can actually accept their offer and kill them anyway to sort of get two times the amount of loot. Unfortunately, you risk your human crewmen leaving you because they believe you're a bad captain or something of that sort. So I don't really like taking the risk, and as you can see, there's not going to be any shops, so I'm just going to invest in a little bit of better doors, and I'm going to actually... The door system, upgrading it can be valuable, as you can see, secret level option for super blast doors, but at the same time, I'm not at that much risk, so I'm just going to save my money and have level 2 sensors. So we got here, fluctuating life signs are near the surface of a hazy pock. Market, marked moon in the vicinity. It seems this is a rock nursery where you are, where the young are acclimated to their religion. Only there has been some type of coop, and the uh, students are running a mock. So we probably have potential to gain a rockman, but as I said, I value my crewman quite a bit, so I'm not going to take the risk. So, we reached the exit beacon, not too bad, we did risk losing, but we managed to pull through. So now we'll now be getting to Sector 3, I believe. So here we have a Mantis area, generally when it has some type of strange name, it's Mantis. Or we probably have a Pirate Zone. So the Mantis gives us two choices to go through, so I'm going to go there. Unfortunately, in Mantis area, you can get boarded, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speak with my Mantis, see if they have anything valuable. They don't. But now, since we're in Mantis area, I'm going to upgrade the doors because they will most likely board us, and when you have stronger doors, it takes longer to get through, and it's fairly advantageous as a whole. So here we got, you come across an injured crew, it turns out to be the sole survivor of a Mantis boarding party, so, so we have a secret option, we might as well look into it. He actually gave us an updated map, so it turned out to be fairly valuable with no risk. So we're going to go to here, we know there is a enemy ship, that's what the sign means, and my suspicion was correct, there were Mantis boarding parties. So now we got two options, we can prevent the Mantis from returning and have them be down a crewman, or we could just target another system. Personally, I'm going to just take out the um, 
So as you see, my Mantis crewman barely won. I took out the weapons, so there's no threat to us. Now I'm going to take out the crew teleporter, because I don't want to be boarded again. With the crew teleporter down, they're trying to escape, but fortunately the captain left to repair it, so it ended up working out either way. As you can see, the door colors change depending on how many um, power bars are in your door system. Obviously, um, one is, or zero rather is not controllable. One is controllable, but they can walk through them. Two is basic defense. Three is fairly good defense, and four takes quite a while to penetrate. So we're in a minefield. Mines can randomly float through the shields and hit our ship, so we're actually at quite a bit of risk. Fortunately, it looks like we won't be boarded, so we can safely target weapons, and we don't have to worry about any shenanigans. Weapons down, now we only have to worry about mines, so unfortunately I can't do much to stop them right now. Best I can do is take my evasion up, which is going to be fairly valuable since it takes it up to 20%. So there are mine launcher, I believe that's what that is, is actually online again because the NG repaired it very quickly, so I'm going to try to take them back out. As you can see, mines don't actually do, I don't believe they can breach, however they, depending on the mine, they can do 3 damage or 1 damage, it just depends. But I do believe they can do um, system damage, and they also can hurt crewmen, I believe. So we got intruders on board, which is fairly unfortunate actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull as many crewmen as I can into the med bay, and then I'm going to vent this whole half of the ship. And I just realized a massive mistake, I actually don't have anything there. So I'm going to make this mantis escape. And I'm going to seal this door to increase his chances of surviving. And now that this is back on, I'm going to try to swamp out the crewman. But it looks like it will turn south for me. So I'm just going to wait. Things are going pretty well. So it's safe to say I can swap out the human. And now the mantis is at no risk of death for the moment. And we should be able to safely take out the rest. So what I'm going to do to make sure the battle will go my way is I'm going to vent oxygen in from these few rooms. And as you can see, these guys are no, taking, are no longer taking lack of oxygen damage, and things are back to a safe breathing level. So I'm going to send the engine guy back to the engine room, and we'll be good to go momentarily. So, we'll go to the distress beacon next. It looks like it will go fairly well for us. So, let's see. We can shoot it to Bronx, and we got some scrap. What can happen there if it goes poorly for you is they will actually, um, when you shoot at them, debris will hit your ship and you can take like 5 damage, but it's no big deal. So actually, what I just read there is um, this place has a built-in cargo teleporter, so you can actually transfer the stuff instantly, and it's pretty reliable. However, if they don't have a cargo teleporter, it takes time to load the store items onto your ship and due to this you can't the rebels get an extra boost to get closer to you so here we got cloaking i can't afford it even if i didn't buy fuel we got a clone bay which is nice but personally i prefer the med bay and we got hacking hacking is usually pretty good all around but i believe it costs a drone and since i don't like investing in drone parts i'm going to skip it for now we got a replicator oni missiles which is pretty good it basically turns it into a laser weapon but it has a longer cooldown we got vintage which is pretty terrible more expensive not good and we got low velocity which is also terrible so i'm going to get the high tech um, oni missile thing and my next goal is going to be to get two more power in here so that's going to cost about 135 gold or, or rather uh, scrap or so and once we have that, we'll be able to safely run that forever and basically have two free weapons. So, now we're here and we're against a automated drone. 
So what happens is when this actually locks on to the um, door system, when it activates it, all the doors go out of your control. And as you can see, they gain this purple effect, which basically means you have to hit your doors to get through them. Another side effect of when... Uh, yeah. Another big side effect of when a dr hacking drone is on a system is a le little bit of electric electricity comes out and you lose the ability to control it. So can, as you can see... My guy is no longer manning the uh, door system, but the hacker is. So, next our choice is going to be between this or this, but as long as one shot hits here, it's guaranteed victory. And as you can see, the artillery, beams, er, artillery beam is going to hit, managed to do just enough to help us kill it. So we're going to go to the next distress beacon, hopefully it will be good for us. And it says, um, you discover, and you can try to dock and rescue their crew. Two damage to the hole, could be worse, but we did get a quest marker. Now, what is bad, though, is we're in a flaming area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the Rockman to the O2, and I'm going to send NGs to engines because we need to get it back up shortly. The human can also help repair since he's pretty fast. So we got engine up basically instantly. And we'll be able to get the fire out of O2 shortly, and the Rockman still will be at full HP since they're immune to fire. So, not a big deal. The only downside is we'll probably get hit by a solar flare, which we did, but we can easily vent it out. Alright, we're able to jump, so we're going to go to the exit beacon. And since I don't want to take a risk, I'm going to go to the next sector before fight and just go. So we have an option. We're at a pirate station, as you can see. So we have a few options here. We can hire a repairing NG, which is actually a pretty good combo since they already repaired double the speed. We can purchase mappings, which isn't useful. We can delay the rebels, which isn't that useful. Or we can get a drink. So I'm going to, I don't want to get a drink. And I also don't really want to pay the money for a crewman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power up the system, and my crewmen have no convictions with that since it's already a bad place. So they have charge missiles, I believe, so I'm going to want to take out the weapons grid as soon as possible. So as you can see, they surrendered, gave us a very good loot, so we're going to honor the truce and leave. Unfortunately, a missile is heading our way, so I don't have time to wait. Um, personally, I have no idea. I don't want to go to a nebula, so I have a choice between a infected area, which isn't very valuable, just lots of distress beacons, or a Zoltan area. So I'm going to go to the Zoltan area. As you can see, we dodged the two missiles, so no threat at all. One moment here while I make my next decision. Now that I'm back, I've decided I'm just going, since I don't think I can afford anything, it's probably not worth the, buying anything here. But since I do have a missile weapon, I actually do get a unique choice that I can purchase an ammo manufacturer, which lets me spend a small amount of scrap, like say 20, for an average amount of missiles, like 5 or 6. So, I don't really want any of those for the moment, and oxygen damage isn't that big of a risk. So what I'm going to go for is I'm going to talk to the rock crewman, and yeah, nothing valuable, figured it'd be as much. Usually those talking events actually don't give you anything anyway. And one moment, I forgot to turn the audio on. Alright, audio's back on. Okay, so we'll start with the quest, just in case something goes terribly wrong, we have more time to fix it. Um, so it looks like we tell them the news, and we get a little bit of scrap. So basically just free scrap for, say, I don't know, 4 damage? Pretty good. So, if you have encountered a refugee scrap, might as well heal them. Turned out we got unlucky, but it's no big deal, because we can kill them anyway. So basically just more money for us. I actually got fairly lucky there as most of the weapons missed, and now I've taken out their weapons grid, so for now we can target their shields or evasion. Ooh. 
Pretty sure that missile is going to hit me, but there's only so much you can do. We got fairly lucky, 17% evasion, we managed to dodge it. And laser is going to hit them once, and dead. So, pretty good. So, our next goal is going to be to try to figure out... Um, Alright, so we're in sector 4, so we've got 4 sectors to go. Currently, we can take out 4 levels of shields. Of course, we're expecting to get more items, which we will most likely. So now we have an option here. We can help the Zoltan, which are very prideful, so that might not be a good idea. We can save the Mantis, who aren't that friendly and might turn on us. So, I'll help the Zoltan. So... Fortunately, the Mantis doesn't have a crew teleporter, so we can just go for the weapons, and then they'll have nothing to hurt us. Unfortunately, though, I think this is a Hermes missile launcher, so we are actually at a decent risk. But we managed to take it out before it fired, so we're basically safe for now. Also, one new thing, um, since Advanced Edition, this now has a little red blip right here, which will, um, I believe it actually gets brighter. But I know for a fact that when this fires, it turns red and then dims till it's off. Yeah, as you can see, most of my crewmen are fairly close to finishing the level 1 upgrades. This guy's a little above, this guy's a little behind, and it really just depends. So, we're on a pretty good course to have um, fully masterful crewmen by the time we get to the end. So we have the option to mine them, but we don't have scrap or we don't have a um, scrap collecting armor. I believe that's what you need. So we'll just have to move on. So I'm going to talk with uh, I'm going to talk with my NG crewman, and he says. Um, Basically just says what will happen anyway, it all depend on depends on how well you play. And that's true. So we can buy a slave and have it join our crew for 20 scrap, which is pretty cheap. But I think my crewmen will consider that to be a bad option. But I'm going to try it anyway. See, now here is where it's unlucky. I can free the slave, so I just wasted 20 scrap. Or I can force him to work on my crew, but these guys might abandon me, so I'm going to change my mind. But it turns out, let's see here, um, he was a Federation crewman. He and your senior offers. Um, he has to submit to your command. And we got a crewman, and my guys aren't angry about it. So that was a really good situation for us. So we 20 scrap for an upgraded crewman. Really, really good. So now we have 190 scrap. I'm going to wait till we get to the end of this sector. And if we don't find a store yet, I'm going to invest into level 3 shields. So we just got really lucky. Well, not that lucky. But we got a fairly good um, drone. So Autonomous, I believe that's what it says. Yep. Autonomous or something like that basically means any drone that has that random perk requires no power So all it does is require a drone part So pretty valuable because later in the game you usually don't have enough reactor power If you have a good game, but if you have a bad game, it won't matter either way Still useful though So as you can see they got charge weapons, but it looks like they're charging it. They also have a burst laser not too much threat all around, so I'm going to go for hacking, since that can be pretty annoying. In retrospect though, that was a terrible idea, I forgot about the EMP. So as long as they don't take out our weapon, no big deal, just a little bit of full damage. But if they do take out our weapons, this could go bad very quickly. So, it looks like our oxygen is out, so we have two options here. We can prevent them from escaping, or attack the ships. Unfortunately, we, well, they might escape anyway, so I'm going to accept the offer, and I'll let them leave. And you should have oxygen up momentarily, but we still have to get emp Fortunately, though, while we wait for this, we don't have to worry too much, since Ion doesn't actually do damage. 
and it should be up in about five seconds. So, looks like there will not be a shop, and we will upgrade our... Actually, we do have a second option. We could instead upgrade our weapons and get us a little more firing power, which is what I think I'm going to do. So, the ship isn't too much of a threat. So it turns out these yellow ones actually do do ion damage, but they also stun your units. So they're sort of a mix. Weaker ion, but they're stunned. Personally, I don't think it's very valuable. So we should be able to take out this ship with virtually no problem. And my artillery lit laser is about to fire, and that should basically guarantee the success. Yep, pretty useful. And one more volley, and they're out. So one nice thing is, as long as I don't get this extra shield up, since they don't have a piloting grid, they will die. Unfortunately, they, they got the extra shield up, so they're going to live for one more volley. Unless we accept their offer. Six fuel is fairly valuable, so I'm going to accept that. And I'm going to help this guy repair, since they're pretty slow. That's Demantis' big disadvantage. They're fast, good at fighting, but they can't really repair. So, I'm gonna check the map one more time, and it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good idea to get the weapon. So, we can actually. If we get about 30 more scrap or so, we'll be able to get the shields as well, because we had so much. So we got a market system, or something that we'll have to fight. Unfortunately, by going to this market system, we'll have to go to a nebula, but there are worse things that could happen. So, since we're in a market system, I'm going to talk to the NG. Didn't actually have anything to say. So, now let's just hope we can find some stores. Oh yeah, I believe this is a custom soundtrack. Captain's Edition, if you in install the mod with it, does have a custom soundtrack for some of its sectors. As you can see, that didn't cost us a missile. Unfortunately, though, it did miss. And it missed again, unfortunately. So because we're having pretty bad luck with landing hits, I'm going to take out the evasion, and now we'll hit them every time. So, and that seals the fate. And we got a decent amount of loot from that, because we saved the Federation outpost. So, we're still hoping for a store, because the ship needs to be repaired, we could use some new items, and a handful of other things. So, now we can buy fire suppression, which is really good, actually. Unfortunately, that's going to cost us 90 scrap. We will have more opportunities to take up that offer if we want to. And so I talked to the Rockman, he says what a great fight we fought. I brought some Duro patches on board, so I applied one to the hole to fix some of the damage we sustained. Hmm. So, we got one extra hit point. Who knows, that could be the difference between life or death. So, and it was free, so pretty nice. We, it's generally valuable to look into those Federation outpost beacons, because even if it is a trap, it's just more opportunity for money. So their ship has a low chance of doing damage to us due to how timing works between weapons, so I'm not going to bother taking out it. Unfortunately though, that actually fires 4 shots, which I thought it only fired 2, so I'm going to switch to taking out the weapons. Fortunately though, this missed, so we'll take out the weapons and we'll be safe. Oddly enough though, only one shot managed to get through it seems. Which is fairly odd. 
so there's really good loot right here and I'll let them leave got a quest if we're lucky it'll be a store quest but it's pretty unlikely so we actually just got really unlucky there we have to fight an automated cruiser it might have said that in the messages but I'm I don't like reading those so it's an automated cruiser, which is slightly advantageous for us, but unfortunately they are controlling one of my crewmen. Managed to miss that, so it's looking pretty bad for us. Fortunately it took control of the NG, who can't really do any damage anyway. So we got fairly lucky there, we managed to take out its evasion, so as long as we get about one to two more volleys, we should be able to safely take their ship. Unfortunately though, we really need to finally get a store, but who knows. And looks like one more free missile, and their ship should be down. And that seals the fate. We're good to go. I believe we'll get a fairly generous reward. Yep. With the threat gone, you contact the Federation outpost. Our location is the compromise. Take everything you can. So we actually just got a really good Rockman. He can replace our current one, which is pretty good all around. So now we got uh, Master of Weapons, which was our main hindrance because the other guys were already mastering, but now that guy's mastered. Now, this guy isn't too much of a threat, I'm not too worried since I have level 2 shields. The main risk for the moment actually just happened, they hit our weapons grid. So, looks like that can pierce shields, which is kind of annoying, but it doesn't appear to do damage. So it looks like my Rockman is going to take a bit of damage from lack of oxygen, but it's not a big deal. So now I'm going to send my NG to help prepare because I don't want to lose my oxygen in the O2 area. So, looks like we managed to take out their ship while sustaining zero damage. Could be a lot worse. Pretty happy with how it turned out. So, if we do manage to get a store, we'll be really well off. If we don't though, we might lose. This is actually kind of good, this is a fairly nice investment, but unfortunately they want a crewman for it, so I can't, I can't. So this will actually, that's effectively an ion weapon, so if I can take out the, oh man, I just realized something, I accidentally targeted their shields instead of the weapon system, so I am slightly more vulnerable than I meant to be. But, it looks like things will about to turn around in a second, and their weapons are now down anyway. Pretty bad offer, so I'm going to decline that one, and this is guaranteed to seal their fate. Fortunately, still no stores. I really can't take the risk at this point, I'm going to have to invest into the second level of shield now, and I'll just have to hope the weapons at the next store we find will be cheap. So we got two sectors left, and a total of 7 HP. Could be worse, but it could be a lot better. I'm gonna talk to the Rockman again, unfortunately he didn't repair it that time. So nebulas are pretty dangerous as a whole, lack of power and a various a wide array of other things. So we found a store, meaning that we should be able to continue safely. I no longer need to buy fuel, since I don't think there's even 42 jumps I could make at this point. Alright, so now that we're at full HP, we can invest into some crewmen. So we got a Zoltan, both of them who are skilled at repair er, engines it seems. 
I'd like to buy Oscar, but I'll have to free up a crew in for that. So I think this is how I'm going to set my ship up. I'm going to get a uh, crew teleporter. It's pretty useful for the final boss. But actually, wait a minute here. Crew teleporter actually won't do that much for me. Since I don't have a crystal crewman, my crewman will just get decimated. So instead of doing that, I'm going to get rid of... Let's see here. Well, he's good at fighting, so he's about average. He's good at engines, which is fight at engines. Weapons, weapons, shields. I think I'm going to get rid of pilot. Humans aren't that valuable as a whole in this game, so it's generally worthwhile just to pick up a better creature. Slugs are better in humans in virtually every way, except humans do collect skills a little bit faster. Let's see here. So apparently this can't pierce. It can only use ion up to three shields or something. It's kind of odd. This one gets extra damage, fire chance. So this is actually really good for fire, but I don't find fire beams to be that useful. And obsolete, so not that useful. I'm gonna move on to the next area and save what little money I now have for something a bit better. And it's usually a good idea to have at least one slugman. Alright, let's see here. We have a Federation ship, so actually we do get a secret thing here. We know about your mission, but we can... Oh, we can... So we got a Firebomb 3, which is pretty good, all things considered, just for piloting the ship. And let's see here. So Firebomb 3 says... Um, uh, fire chance is high, pretty good. There's a breach chance, a... Five second stun it seems and 45 crew damage so it's pretty good if I want to cause a fire <laughs> all right so let's see here we got a reinforced rock free fighter or er, freighter I mean let's see So I don't really want to uh, seize their supplies, and I don't care about fuel that much at this point. So it looks like I'm going to have to take two jumps either way, so I'll just go up. Wait, actually, yeah, two jumps. Alright, let's see here. So, let's see, I'm navigating the fog blind, you practically bump holes with the mantis chip, they heal you, Pa, this transgression will be overlooked. So, we have the option to fight them, and I mean, no reason not to. Oh, me never mind, messed that up. Meant to fight them, but I didn't. No big deal either way. pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that he's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be boarded by a slug. Could be worse, I suppose. We will target their weapons. And this can target the shields. I believe that was a stun bomb just shot. So, not too much damage as a whole, and we got things quickly repaired. It looks like the slug warped out before we managed to kill it though, which is slightly unfortunate. I'm going to take out the pilot grid, and then we should safely be able to finish it up. Seven missiles is fairly valuable, and we do have one or two missile weapons, so I'll accept that. So, I believe this will take us to Sector 7. So, it looks like, fortunately, thanks to that one shop, we should be able to do pretty well. So, let's see, Criminal Hidey Hole, or Evacuation. I think I'm going to go to the Criminal Hidey Hole. I think at this point I'm going to pick up the adaptive gel suits, and I managed to save a little bit of scrap thanks to my engine. 
so those energies have really been paying off. And now, when there's no oxygen, actually, if there's no battle heal, I'll accept, yeah, I'll help them out. Alright, so, for anyone who hasn't seen the adaptive gel suits before, this is what they do. So, normally, these guys would lose HP pretty fast, but instead, they're draining HP very slowly. So, even in terrible scenarios, they can now survive for quite a while. Fortunately, that did end up costing us 49 scrap, but I think it costs more to buy it in a store anyway. So now that we're approaching the final battle, I'm going to do something that will save me a bit of time. I'm going to rename my crewmen according to what they are. Oops, almost messed that up. <laughs> I meant to go to name. Name this guy Captain. One second here. Captain. This guy, he's not really anything. Not really anything. Shields. Yeah, I guess I can name this person. Repair. Engine. And weapon. That'll save me a little bit of time, and it's a little less hassle since it just says their roles. So I'm going to repair my last couple of guys just so we can go into this next fight at full HP. And I did upgrade the medbay right there even though it's not that valuable for me because there are certain quests which if you have a level 2 medbay you get a um, you can heal the person. Alright let's see here. Zoltan, he and, uh, could be worse. We got a free piece of item to sell I think. Alright. So we can sell that, and I guess get a little bit of money. Not that valuable, but still, nothing to worry about. So we can steal their supplies, which would be frowned upon, so I'm going to reject their offer. If we're lucky here, we'll be able to get a store shortly and sell those useless items. So we managed to use the, uh, the slug right there to figure out what their true intentions were, and it was no big deal. So it ended up being that that quest actually just upgraded our reactor for free, so we saved 25 scrap. So it looks like they took out our oxygen system, so those advanced gel suits will be coming in quite, they'll be really useful if this battle runs on too long. So as per usual, shields and weapons. So we actually did just get somewhat lucky right there. Uh, yeah, and I don't think that can target that missile since it's cloaked, which is another advantage. But I was saying, uh, I got fairly lucky because this has managed to take out two drones they shot at me just by firing. So my ship's been a lot safer than it probably should have been. Ah, oh, we almost just did it three times in a row, but they managed to not screw it up that time. And I think my missile has missed like five times in a row, so finally hitting. It's pretty nice. And I believe I'm gonna get to decline that, but I believe once your ship reaches 20%, it um, loses the ability for you guys to breathe. But as I said, even if not, my guys could survive for like seven minutes without oxygen. So. Oh, we actually did get lucky. There is a store, and if we're lucky, we'll be able to sell those terrible items. So we sell it, we gain 30 scrap, and basically, to not cheat, you have to drag the item over here. What I am interested in, though, is we have a requisition license for 20 scrap that allows us to steal, but since this is Sector 7, I don't think that's going to come in handy anyway. Now, what I will do is I see a few possibilities here that could be of good amount of value. We can get an onboard science lab, allows us to conduct research, but that has an empty beacon requirement, and I don't think that's going to come in handy, really. But here are a few possibilities we do have. We can try to sell some of these items, so I can sell them. Um, let's see, I don't really want to sell the adaptive gel suits. And let's see, a breach bomb does zero damage, so I'm going to sell that and pick up cloaking. And just for fun, I'll pick up the onboard science lab. So, I'm going to go ahead and just, um, ooh, interesting. 
That is actually a really good item. However, if I get unlucky, that could screw me over so much that that's not worth it. If I get lucky, though, when they surrender, because I'll be destroying them, I will be able to get that item anyway. Let's see here. They went here. My ship's already low on oxygen, so I can actually just afford to man fight these guys. Now, let's see here. I can, I can um, use my... I'll use my cloak to dodge their missile. And as I said, my crewmen took virtually a much slimmer amount of damage than they could without the adaptive gel suits, just proving how useful they really are. Looks like all they got right now is an anti-bio laser. Yeah, but I think that can only go through level 2 shields. So. So our next goal would optimally be to get four shields, but I think that will cost 200 scrap or something like that, so it's pretty much unattainable at this point. However, we can... Alright, so at this jump, we'll go to the final battle. And now that we're here, I believe this is technically an empty beacon, so let's see what we got here. Um... Well, no, that's not what I was hoping for. I was really hoping that we'd be able to use our onboard science lab, but that ended up not doing anything, I guess. Huh. It says it can uh, require an empty beacon. Could have sworn that was an empty beacon, but oh well. Repair. I guess we can get some free stuff. I'm going to heal this guy up just because I don't want to invest the time later. And at least while you're safe, it's just a little bit of your time, as opposed to valuable battle time. I think it's pretty much guaranteed at this point we won't be able to beat the boss, but I do think we will safely be able to take about level 1. I don't know about level 2 though. Well, we can go to another repair, and this guy is optimally going to be heading to the base, so I mean it's not a bad destination. A little more free scrap actually. Unfortunately, we're about... 100, 200, about 152 off. So since that's basically unattainable, let's see what my other choices are. I can upgrade engines, pretty valuable up to level three. I could upgrade my doors. All right. Well, engines upgrading is going to be dirt cheap. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. And now I can optionally drain these two power, put them in here. If I'm lucky, I'll get a little more money, but to be honest, I think I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. As I said, basically Garen, actually we just got a load of extra money, so we can put this on right now. I was fairly fortunate, and that was it for that. And I can get this. So I think we're going to have to fight one enemy ship most likely, because usually this is loaded with them. Actually, I'll just accept the bribe, no reason not to. So... We're about to fight the final boss. We could get one more level of engines. That will take us to maximum efficiency. And yeah, I think that's going to be the best choice. Take off med base since we won't be taking that much crew damage. And here goes the final battle. I don't think it will go too well. But here goes nothing. I don't know if this change is a captain's edition change. But if you see over here, once this uncloaks, you can no longer... These are no longer... So, wait, what? That's not good. As I said, this drains your HP now. I think this crewman might die. Uh, nope. Managed to barely live. I have to get him out of there, though. So, as I said, um, this change right here, it used to be these guys were in little separate canals and there was no connector here or here. I don't know if that was a main game change or a captain's edition change, but either way, it is now much harder to take out the missiles and a lot harder to take out the heavy laser. So, we fortunately can dodge at least one set of missiles for no penalty, that's what I'm going to do, and if we're lucky, my Rockman will be able to break out of there. I'm actually able to help him with this Mantis if I want to, but he managed to get out safely. So, here's our option, we can fire here, and if it hits, we'll be able to fire, oh, no, missed. So, unfortunately there, we were not able to do any damage. It's pretty unlikely that we'll be able to do any damage with this current layout anyway. Fortunately, we do have three shields, so we are fairly safe. Looks like two missiles hit, pretty bad. We can deploy this guy to repair, this guy can help here. And we'll just have to be patient. If we're lucky, we'll get this 
to land, and that will be our basically our only way we can damage them. Alright, so it landed. If we get an absolute perfect volley, zero misses, we can do one damage. That was as good as it was going to get. <laughs> as you can see, if I activate cloaking right now, since I have a high base cloak, I actually go to 105%. So, as long as I have a uh, cloak on, they can't hit me. So, once again, we're really just relying on this to go down. And it did hit again, and we got a fire. Fairly lucky for us. And we do actually still have full HP. This could be going quite a bit worse. I mean, admittedly. Um, well, I'm gonna cloak here. Pretty stupid, actually. Hmm. I can't get my Rockman over here, so I'm just gonna store him in a room it's unlikely for them to shoot at right here. The question is... I'm gonna move my Rockman here, and it didn't matter anyway. So. Well, they are at two shields. There is a decent possibility. Oh. Well, this is gonna require a lot of luck again. Miss and zero damage. Okay, we can vent out this fire, so no threat. The question is, I'm gonna dodge that. And for anyone who doesn't know, if the enemy is cloaked, your weapons do not charge. If you were cloaked, same thing applies there, weapons don't charge. So, I'm gonna fire that, and here goes nothing. Alright, so it looks like the O2 system's out, and fire... So, it looks like the fire suppression system actually would've helped quite a bit earlier. It's a shame I didn't end up buying it. But we did manage to take out their ships thanks to my artillery beam. Well, let's see here. Now, there's a lot of fire here, and this guy's not hurt by fire, so the logical choice would be to send him there. So, here we go. Alright, my NG should get that fire out pretty much instantly. And that's online. I'm gonna have him take out that fire, put my NGs here. And we do have a little pause in the action for the moment. Unfortunately, that hacking system is really doing a number on us, but I think, uh, yeah, my, my hunch was right, we did get through the first one, with a little bit of luck, I think. Could have gone worse if we missed more. Well, let's wait for that guy to heal up, and then the final battle. Er, well, the second final battle. I think there's three stages, but they might have added a fourth in this mode, I don't remember. So we'll drain out that again, and here it goes. Actually, if I could get to that store, that could be fairly valuable. But we don't have that much money anyway. It's only... Hmm, maybe I should have gone there. I don't know. Alright, so this is a drone one. Pretty difficult, actually. So here is a big reason why I invested. Like, if you look right here, you see that breach? This is one of the primary reasons of why I invested into the adaptive gel suits. Because I'll suck all the oxygen out of the room, and my guys won't actually be affected. And this cloaking missile, once again, showing it's fairly useful. So, we took that out. No big shake. And we can now send this guy over to get healed. And this guy can repair the gap with my NG. Take out that. Alright, now, here was a mistake I just made. Pretty big one. So, I should have saved. Alright. Gonna transfer this all here. Now, what I should have done is I should have saved my, um, I just got a lot of missiles. I should have saved the, um, cloak for the power surge, but looks like it worked out anyway. Well, it looks like things are going pretty bad at the moment. I'm going to transfer this NG over here. Very important to get weapons up. Alright, get that on, and cloak. Oh, I just lost my NG, and it looks like this is game over. I do think I have some other guy who's like mildly decent at shields. I do not. Okay. I can leave the battle right now, but at the same time, it's not going to do me that much good, so I'm just going to let them end it. Okay, let's see here. You keep this guy alive, transfer that. 
So now he can safely fight him, no issue with oxygen, but shit blows up. So that's the end of my first episode on this channel. Hope you guys liked it, and I hope it helps you become maybe a better player if you're new. Thanks for watching.